Alright guys, so we're going to Oh shoot, I just screwed up the elbow pad again. Gosh dang it. Alright, we're gonna try it one more time. So we're gonna go with the mat, except color. Um so luckily our color saved. Gonna accept it. And then we're gonna apply that custom image again. Since I keep screwing that up. Sorry about that guys. So let's see if we can get this around back where I had it before. So that kind of looks where it was. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now I have to... I'm going to emboss it. I'm going to leave that alone. And then we'll accept it, accept. And then we got to confirm it so I don't lose it again. There. That's what I did wrong before. Alright, so now we're going to match the elbow pad on the other side. So the nice thing here is you choose the mat and then accept, go down to color, first color, and then the previous color that you had created should still be there. Um, so we're going to choose that, accept, accept again so I don't mess anything up. Go to the images again. We're going to choose that same design. Push X, apply. And then where did that image go? Oh, it's all the way on the front of his pad. So we're moving that around. Get it kind of centered there. And then we're going to rotate it. That looks pretty good. See, might be a little too high to match. Uh, I think that's probably good. Kind of just eyeballing it a little bit here. So we'll push X to accept. We are going to emboss, even though it doesn't seem to be doing too much. Accept all of that. Go down to accept and confirm. And there we go. There are his elbow pads. Um, now upper arm. So you can get all these crazy things here. See, so I think before I had some kind of... Uh, I think this is what I had on him before. And I think I only had it on his left arm. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So we're going to choose that, push X. I'm going to change the material to metal. Accept it, and then change the color. Now, this one I think I actually had as a gray. So it looked a little silver. Um, so I think what we'll do is we will choose the white, go down to the color picker. Whoops. Push X and then kind of darken it up a little bit. Maybe not quite that dark. So yeah, there we go. I'm happy with that. Accept. Confirm so we don't lose it like I did the pads. Um, now the upper right arm I'm not going to add anything to. Now his lower left arm. I'm trying to remember what I had before. I know it was something generic, I think. I think I had... Um, just kind of some kind of like cuff on his hand. Let's see what other options we've got here. And there's a bracelet. So no. A whole bunch of chain. <laughs> um, what's this one? Kind of a rope. Might have been that before. 
Let's just see what other things we've got here. So we've got a watch. I don't want that because it kind of covers up too much of the tattoo. Alright. Maybe we will just not do anything there. Let's see what uh, we got for the hands. So I think mostly gloves. I know, I know I had some rings on him before. And I believe these are the ones that I had before. I'm not sure there are any newer options this year. I've got a skull. I think that was an option last year, though. And I think this was one of the ones I actually had. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Uh, we're going to change the first material. So the first material we're looking at is kind of the um, stone in the rings. And you can kind of see it changing there. So I like to use the pearl for the stones. That's just a personal option. And then the second material, which is the actual ring itself, um, we're going to choose the metallic, except color. First color. Now you've got all kinds of different things you could do here. Um, but for him, I think I'm going to choose that same red. So I'm actually going to go down to previous colors and choose that red. And then for the second color, I just want it to look kind of silver for the ring. So we're going to choose that again and then accept, accept, and then confirm. Uh, now for the right hand, I'm going to go over to the generic again and I think I'm going to give him more rings on this hand. I wish that wouldn't slide over so far. Or maybe we'll do the skull. I kind of like that skull. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, so for this one again, I'm just going to choose the metallic just as personal preference. Except color. Um, this one, let's see here, what would look good here? Black kind of, you lose the detail. Um, you could do silver. The red is lose that detail too. So I think we'll just do the gray, which makes it with the metallic kind of look silver. It's not very bright. It's like a dull. Let's try that other one though. So that one's a little brighter. And I don't know. It looks dull. We'll just stick with it though. It kind of suits his character. Okay, now the nails. Um, you know, you can get kind of crazy with the fingernails too. But for this guy, I don't think we're going to. I'll just show you what these look like. So you can get painted nails. And I think you can choose the colors on these two. I'll just, yeah, so you can paint different nail colors. And I think you can do that with most of these. So there's another option. You can change the colors. Now that you've got the pointed nails as well. But I'm not going to do that for this particular guy. Um, neck accessories. Let's see, I know I had a... I think I had this cross with him last time just because it fit the character. I don't think it was this one. No, but you see we've got all kinds of different options here. You know, stethoscope, scarves, um, chains. You know, we got got uh, gold medal. We're going to go kind of with the more the uh, more gothic style cross here. Um, so this one, we're going to change that to metallic. The second material, which is the actual chain, I think I'm going to stick with the metallic. I'm going to accept it. I'm happy with that silver, so I'm not going to change it. Confirm. Um, torso accessories, you know, you can get wild here too. You've got bandages, you know, different armor pieces. Um, so you've got, you know, that's not showing up, but I believe that's like a gladiator chest piece. Um, suspenders. You know, you've got shoulder pads, different uh, sports shoulder pads. You know, different, all kinds of different stuff. 
uh, you know, the sport tape, uh, Cesaro's, t I think, it's, excuse me, so this is more like Cesaro's tape that he's wearing currently. You know, um, fortunately the pads aren't showing up just because of the other options I chose. Um, back accessories, you know, go wild here too, but again, not showing up for different reasons. Uh, so we're going to confirm that, and then the lower body. So you can choose from the trunks, wrestling tights, bottoms. Um, so what I do is, depending on what I want the character to look like, so this guy I want to have longer pants. Um, so we're going to go skip all of the trunks because it uses up your points for your <clears throat> excuse me for the different parts that you're putting on the character so you can see on the left there I'm at 71 of 128 um, so if you mess with the trunks it kinda adds to that and then you you don't end up seeing it so I skip all of that depending on how I want the character to look so I'm gonna go straight to the bottoms and I know I kinda want can't remember what option I had on him last year, but I remember it was a little bit more tight, so I may actually be going back up to the tights, depending on what's down here. But you know, you got all these crazy options, depending on how you want your guy to look. Um, so these are, you know, ripped jeans. That actually kind of suits the character here too, but. I remember I had knee pads on him before with a different Celtic design. And actually these are the ones I was looking for right here. So I'm going to choose those. Uh, the material, I believe I had these as cloth. And I know you can choose different materials. So um, I think what we're looking at on this one is I think there's a belt. If you pull the shirt off. And um, that's why these are not highlighted when I'm choosing them. So I think his shirt is hiding what we're actually changing there. Um, but we're going to go into the color. And I'm going to choose the black again. Actually, I could probably just go to the previous colors and choose black. So it kind of gives a faded look there. So I kind of like that. I, I'm positive this is what I had on him before. Yeah, and then see the second and the third colors, um, that's going to change the belt. So as you can't see it, I'm not going to mess with it. Confirm. Um, you can actually add more belts in if you want. Um, again, depending on the shirt, they will show up or not show up. But I don't think we're going to add anything here to this particular guy. So we're going to skip that. Actually, hang on a second. There was one that kind of hung, hung down there. Um, so there's a gun holster. Got the shirt around the waist. And then there's one that hangs down there too. That's not too bad, but you only see part of it. I, I think we'll just skip it. Um, so I remember I had knee pads on this guy, so I'm going to recreate those. And I'm trying to remember which ones I had. I think it was these. I'm just going to check and see what other options we've got here before deciding, though. Actually, it might have been this one. Actually, it was this one. So you've kind of got all these crazy pads. Uh, I think this one is underneath. So we're going to choose that one. And I'm actually going to do something different here. Um, this one we're going to do matte colored. And we are going to choose the black again. Accept that. Got to remember to accept everything. And then on this one, I'm going to use the generic Celtic design because I know it will show up a little bit differently. Uh, find the one that I want here. There it is. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to leave it there. See, it's black, so it's kind of hard to see. We're going to push X to accept it, and then I'm going to change the color to this gold, to this yellow color. And we're going to accept it. Accept. And then what we're going to do is go down to emboss. And it 
didn't work like it did last year. It had more of a sheen to it. Um, oh, I know what I did wrong. Choose the material. And then you can actually change it. So you change it to plastic. You can even change it to the pearl. It gives it a little bit more sheen. You can change it to the glitter, which kind of looks weird. Um, or you could change it to the glow, something like that. Whoops. Sorry, guys. So there's the final and plastic, but I think I'm going to stick with the plastic so it kind of gives it that little bit of a, a shine to it. We're going to accept that, accept, and then confirm to make sure I save everything. And then we're going to try to recreate that same thing on the right side. So i got to find the actual pad that I used, which I believe is that one, right? And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to change this material first to the mat. That's the background material. Accept it. Go to color. Choose our previous color of black. Accept everything. Go down to images. Uh, go to designs because we're using the generic one that came with the game. Uh, find that same design. Now, I'm not changing the size or the rotation just because I think it, it looks okay the way it is. Um, push X to accept that. Uh, we're going to change the material to the plastic again. Accept. We're going to go to color. First color. Previous colors. And then we're going to choose that yellow to make it look like the gold. And then accept. We're going to emboss it. So you can kind of see it changes the appearance a little bit. Accept. And accept again. And then confirm so we don't lose everything. All right. Now, if you're going to put, um, if you have like a tight, uh, or excuse me, the trunks, um, or like the shorter pants that only come down to knees, like shorts or, you know, um, different kind of tights, I think work that way too. Um, the socks will show up, but for this guy, since I'm going to be putting um, boots on him, I'm not going to choose the socks because, again, it adds more to the parts. You can see I'm up to 87 out of 128 up there on the upper uh, left side there. Um, so kick pads, I'm not going to mess with those on this guy. Um, so we're going to go straight to the boots. Um, I'm going to choose the generic ones just because uh, I can't remember what I had on him before. I know I had actual boots on and I know there was like a generic one that I enjoyed having on him before. Let's see here. I can find the same ones as I had last year. So there's some crazy options here. So you've got these uh, ones like the, the J court gestures, um, you know, Japanese sandals. You've got these crazy things here flippers. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? I know there were some that um, I used last year that looked pretty good on him. Let's see if I can find that same style. Okay. Ah, no. Wow. Actually, it might have been this set here. Yeah, there it is. This is the set that I had. So, let's see. We're going to change the material. Um, now, the first material, I'm going to choose leather. And then the second material there, I'm going to choose rubber just because that's the sole. And then the third material, I am going to choose the metallic because that is all of the funky little highlights. Uh, those little, um, I don't even know the proper term for them, but those little metal pieces, that's what I'm going to try to make them look like anyway. All right, so the first color, 
I'm going to go into the sample color and choose this brown just because I want it to be like uh, brown leather boots here. So I'm kind of happy with that. I don't want it to be much darker, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it. Um, second color. Now I think I might match the same. I'm not sure yet. Actually, I kind of like that black better. I don't know. Maybe. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it the same. Okay. And then the third one, we're going to go down and match his silver. So I think I'm going to leave it with the lighter silver. Going to go ahead and accept that. I'm not going to add any images or any stitching. Go ahead and confirm. And there are his boots. So there's Dugas so far in his ring attire. And we're not going to mess with any of that because these attire presets will um, override everything that I just did. So we're going to go ahead and confirm him. And then what we're going to do is what you do if you want to change the entrance attire is you can push X on the ring attire, choose copy, move over to the entrance attire with the directional pad, push X, and then everything that you have from the ring attire will copy over to the entrance. And then it'll take a second for it to be done. So now we're going to go over to the entrance, push X, and you can actually change things within here too. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to edit his clothing. You can actually change, you know, if you want a different hairstyle. My nine-year-old does that. He changes the hairstyle between the entrance and the the uh, ring attire, and then he also changes the the entire outfit. So it looks kind of weird, but you know, he's nine. Let him do what he wants. Um, so we're going to go to the clothing upper body. And we're going to see if we can add a jacket here. I'm going to go to the generic ones. And I know I had like this really long jacket on him. And I don't think it was that one before. I know there was some other longer ones here that we're just going to try out. This is more like the Mrs. Jacket, right? Yeah. Might be might have been this one because it's got kind of spiky attitude. I'm um, just going to see what other options we got here. So yeah, some of these are, actually it was this one. This is the one I had before. So you can see some of these options are not available and it has to do with, um, you know, some of it has to do with the uh, points and other Others uh, are not available just due to other things that you have on the character. So I'm not sure what um, is interfering with certain ones. Um, but if you're, if you're looking to get, you know, different jackets on your character that are not available, um, look at removing some of the pieces that you have on uh, the different body parts. And some of these should become available as you remove some of those pieces. Uh, so I'm going to find that jacket I had before here. So, all right, first material, so you can see it flashing there. I'm going to choose leather. Uh, same thing with the second material, because that's the collar. Third material, that's all of the little buttons and stuff. Um, so we're going to choose metallic. And then the fourth material, where it is highlighted here. Is that not the I think it's flashing the, uh, oh yeah, okay. So that one, it's like the little laces there, right? So that one I think we're going to choose matte. We'll see what it looks like when we get it colored in. So now we're going to go down to the color. First color, I'm going to choose black again just because, you know, he's a thief. He likes wearing black. Uh, second color, I believe that was my, oh yeah, his collar, so I do want that to be different, 
but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Let's try the black and see. Actually, we'll just leave it. Okay. Now the third color. So this... Those are the yellow eyelets. Mm. Yeah, maybe we'll go with the gold just to give it a little pop. I think we'll stick with the gold. And then the fourth color is all the little strappings there. Let's see what looks good here. That red's not too bad, huh? Maybe we'll just stick with that. Okay. So, you can put images on these coats and whatnot too if you, just, if you decide to, but um, I don't think I'm going to because I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Um, you know, if you decide you want to do, you know, an outfit, you know, those are there. These are all presets. Um, everything can be recolored though. Um, but, you know, again, since we're doing kind of a semi-custom guy, we're just going to leave it as is. Um, so, you know, you can change the elbow pads and whatnot, you know, if you don't want them on. If you're looking to add more pieces to your guy, you could definitely do that um, by removing the elbow pads and um, other pieces that you want. Um, now, I don't think I'm going to add... I don't think I have enough points as as it stands to add any glasses or anything to him. Yeah, see, I would be going over my points limit. Um, but I don't think I really like them on this particular character anyway. Let's see, where's the wacky? So see, I could add those in, but um, I don't think I'm going to do that. So I think I'm, I'm I think I'm happy with the way he looks. So yeah, there's Dugas in his entrance attire. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm that. And it takes a second to save. I'm gonna grab a drink here, guys. My apologies. All right, so it can change, you know, have like an alternate outfit if you decide to do that. So you can copy, paste this over here, and then you can actually have like two completely different ones if you wanted to. Actually, if you copy it, you're going to end up with the same same uh, ring attire or entrance attire, depending on what you do. Um, or you can start fresh and have a completely different outfit. Um, for the sake of uh, time, I'm just going to leave it for the moment. Now we're going to go over to name information. Um, so you push the right and left bumpers to change those menus at the top, and then you push X to get down to the submenus. Um, so we are going to change his name. And I think there is a limit. Yeah, there's only there's a um, character limit. So we're still within that limit. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do that for now. But then his abbreviated name, I usually just end up being shorter name. Push no, because I don't want to change his actual name. Uh, his entrance name we will leave as is. And then the social account, you put whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to change his social account name to just his last name. Whoops. There we go. And then his pre presentation name, I think we've got the hammer as an option. Um, so we're going to push X on the nickname. We're pushing the left trigger to scroll through the different letters and so there's the hammer and I 
don't know. Whoops. I did that wrong. Ah, shoot. I keep screwing up. Okay, so... To change between the menus at the top, you push the directional pad left and right. That's what I was doing wrong a second ago. Um, and I don't think we've got anything that will fit for his actual first name. But I'm just going to check. I know there's like... There used to be like a Douglas that was close, but it just sounds kind of silly when uh, your name is Dugas. So there's Doug, Douglas, but I don't think I'm going to mess. I don't think I want that. Um, so then we can go to the last name, and again, I don't think there's anything in here that's even close to what what I had or wanted. And you can push, you know, if you want to listen to what the name sounds like, Skit. you push square on the name and then the announcer will speak the name. Um, I think we're just going to leave it as the hammer because that's pretty close to what we had. But yeah, I don't even see anything in here that is close. Alright, so we'll just leave it as the hammer then. Whoops, what did I do wrong there? I forgot to accept it. Okay, so there's his name. And then we're going to push the right bumper to go over to personal information. So I like having this guy be... Uh, he's kind of egotistical. So I'm going to make him you know, 100, 100 egotistical. Um, he is respectful, though. So, you know, in the book, he... He's kind of a Robin Hood type character. Um, so he's perseverant. So I'm going to just jack him all the way over there. And then he is loyal to a degree. <laughs> so I think we'll put it at like 50 maybe. So if you cross him, he's, you know, definitely going to uh, betray you. Uh, he's very bold. So we're going to put that all the way over. And he's very disciplined. He knows definitely knows how to fight. So can I accept that? Now he is from a fictional town. Sometimes I you know, in these games I've don't have this option, I will make him from Russia just for the heck of it. Um, but we're gonna put fictional and we'll just scroll through here because they have a lot of different um, options this year. So you know, you've got the fifth dimension, Limbo, Other Side of Darkness, Queen City. Um, but I think we might put him from another time might be okay. So that's okay. Uh, and then you can change the crowd signs. Oops. So where am I at here? There we go. I'll just check out the generic ones here, but there are just a ton of different things here that you can choose from. Um, I like the high mom and high dad signs just because. So we'll put those in just for the heck of it. And then maybe we'll just do the bring it sign. Or maybe throw me a shirt. We'll just do that. And then I'm going to leave the hit point ratio as is, but you can, you know, definitely switch these around depending on, you know, if you want to have a stronger body part. Um, now his skills, um, I always kind of choose everything just uh, because that's the way I like to play. Um, but we're definitely choosing, you know, things that fit his character, so we're definitely going to choose like the hammer throw. But I'm definitely going to just choose everything here. Whoops, I forgot to go through. Because um, when I play these characters, I definitely like to have all these options available to me. And then we'll choose. Now these, um, I know as you choose certain ones, other ones become unavailable. Um, so I kind of go through these a little more carefully to see what I like. Um, so, I know I like these barricade breakers with him, because I like to, you know, he's short, but he's, you know, strong. 
It's the way that I uh, you know, uh, play him. Um, so I like the Skull Crushing Big Boot with the, the little guy too. Um, ladder finisher. He's definitely an escape artist because he's a thief, you know, in the book. So I, you know, if that option's available, he's definitely gets out of trouble really easily. Um, we'll just kind of go through and see what else we got. So we got suicide dive. We'll just choose all of these just because. So yeah, unicorn locker power bomb. So I'm going to choose this one because I know when you choose one or the other, this one disappears. So if you choose the locker power bomb, then the super kick combo becomes unavailable. But I like to choose pick him as a kind of a kicker. So we'll choose that. Um, and I know the same thing happens here too. When you choose the office table, one or the other, the other one disappears. Um, so I think we're going to do the power bomb for that one. And I think these don't disappear, so we'll just choose all of them. And then the car finisher, which I believe is new this year, right? Um, so there's that. So he's, you know, pretty well jacked up in his skill area. Um, and then the attributes. Um, I do play these characters. Um, right now there's a bug as of the making of this video where you cannot play um, your creative players against another creative player. Um, with somebody sitting in the same room with you. So if you're trying to do, you know, two players on the same console, there's a bug where you can't use the created characters um, against each other. So hopefully that will get fixed here soon because uh, that's what my son and I like to do. Uh, we create these guys and then we, um, you know, either team them up in a tag team match or we fight against each other. Um, so hopefully that will get fixed here soon. Um, but we always jack up these characters, you know, to the max. Um, just so when we do that, uh, when we are able to play them against each other or, or alongside each other, you know, the matches are pretty even. Um, you know, he, he's, uh, he doesn't remember all of the moves since he's a little bit younger. Um, and I'm a little bit slower on the control since I'm a little bit older. Um, so it does kind of make it more of a fair match. Um, I think last year when we were playing, he was, you know, we were pretty much 50-50 on who was winning those matches. Um, so now the abilities, I always set these to level 3 again, you know, just because of the play, playing with my son here. Um, so this guy is a thief, so we're going to pick that move thief thing first, which I can never get to work correctly. Uh, let's see here, I know he, we had, he's, you know, a talker, so I always choose the mouthpiece. Um, let's see here, fan favorite, I had that one before too, uh, the rope break, um, where's the, res I know there's a resiliency, there it is, uh, ring escape, cause he is kind of an escape artist, I think I had the dirty pin too, so we'll just do that, cause you know, every once in a while he does cheat, if he can get away with it, um, so teamwork, cause I know we had him on a tag team before. Um, we'll choose the technician, and what else do we want here? I think we'll have the stare down. Just, I don't remember I had that before or not. Okay, so there's his skill set. And later on we'll work on his uh, move list too, because I usually choose like the hammer, anything that has to do with the hammer, just to fit his character. Alright, so, menu pose, I'm going to change this to his entrance attire just because I think it looks a little cooler. It's just personal opinion. And then um, do the, uh, I know you can set these individually, but let's see here, we're going to go to the mail. We'll find something that kind of fits his style here. Uh, let's see, I'm not real sure what to choose to be honest. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's not too bad. So, hmm. So yeah, there's all kinds of different different ones here for the menu pose. <laughs> Dude, love, right? 
So that looks a little more angry, but he's kind of a happy-go-lucky kind of guy, you know. Um, he is egotistical. So let's see what we can find here. And we'll probably end up changing, changing some of the stuff here when we go to the individual ones anyway. So uh, find something. Maybe this one. We'll just do that. Yeah, and then see it kind of overrides what you do anyway. What did I just do here? Set individually male. I don't understand what I just did wrong there. So let's see if we can find that same pose um, or something similar. Maybe I keep passing it here. I don't know. There's just so many options. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. No, I don't like that. Hmm. decent here. Here. There we go. That's not too bad. So now we're going into the individual. Like this will change his hands. What he's doing with his hands. You know, kind of kind of cool that you can change all of this so no two characters will be alike. Um, just find something that looks halfway decent here. All right, and now it changes face here a little bit. So he's kind of a goofy guy, but he is kind of a, you know, he can be a hard ass though too. But actually, that one's not too bad. I'll take that. We'll just do that, and then we will. Yeah, see, I overwrote the um, and when I did the individual, it overwrites the set all. That's all right though. All right, so there is that. We'll go ahead and accept. And it takes some, you know, a little bit of time to save it here. But yeah, there's Dugas, um, 5'6", 237, you know, overall 100, he has tons of skills. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to save the next part of the of a video for later, um, where we'll set his um, his move list, and then I'll probably get back to a different video um, showing how to make um, an entrance for him as well too. So that's it for uh, my custom creator character. I mean, um, so if you guys have questions, you know, please do post those at the bottom. Um, I do read those. I do try to get back to people. I just ask that you do be respectful. Um, you know, if I did make a mistake somewhere in my talking, please let me know that. But please do be respectful. Um, um, and I will get back to you. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like that. hope that kind of give you a little bit of insight into how I create my characters. Um, I will try to make him available once I get the um, move set, the entrance, and everything completed too. So he won't be available right away. Um, but if you guys do want to play as him, you know, do let me know. Um, and I will try to get him finished um, as I go through these little videos. And I will get him available to you guys if you do want to play as him. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.